the transition has been good. Um, the department has been very welcoming. They've worked uh, extremely hard to make sure that we're getting and having the kind of resources and just the um, anything that they can do to help us, um, myself, my staff, and our young people. And so the transition, as far as the first 100 days, has gone well. Um, if this is any indication of how my time will be here at NCCU, then certainly uh, I'm wanting to have a very long stint here. You know, I know that requires uh, that success happens, and so we're going to put the work in to create that kind of environment. What's it like sort of being with somebody who's been here a little while but not a long time? You guys can kind of both build your programs together. You know what? He has been a tremendous help, uh, himself and his staff, in terms of helping us get adjusted and acclimated, introducing us to people in the community uh, that are very valuable, uh, in the community and they are doing a lot of things and he's been willing to share. Uh, he's helped us with his personal resources and just resources that he has, people that he knows and so it's exciting because he's a winner. You know, he was an exceptional player when he played here uh, and so he's a winner now as a coach and so we want to feed off of that coming into this environment. You know, it kind of, it's an established tone and so we just have to do our part and elevate the standard within our program. Goal for year one. Well, we have several goals, but the main thing is just to make sure that we put in the kind of infrastructure that allows our young women to uh, be in a successful environment. And we want to take time to enjoy the small successes, like their ability to buy into what we're teaching, uh, their ability to trust one another. Uh, as a support system and to play together. And then number three, to just be competitively great with what they're doing. You know, that the way they do things, as John Wooten uh, would say, the way they do things affect the person next to them uh, because they're doing their best when their best is needed, on and off the court. You got a chance to see your team in game experience with the game against Payne. What did you take from that? It's, it's like a blueprint, you know, it's very early and so I took that, they played with a lot of energy. Uh, certainly we were short in numbers having the seven persons, but I thought the seven young women that played, played extremely hard. And so that's one of the, uh, that's one thing that we talked, we talked about since day one, we will play hard. And I got a chance to see that from them and so we'll build upon that as we get better defensively, as we get better offensively, you know, as we learn a little bit more about who we are at NCCU as the women's basketball team this year. But um, they were, they're working extremely hard and it showed in that scrimmage. And with that, yeah, those, like Plano said, seven um, players, they have, they have to be a crush this early in the season. So how would you manage that throughout the season? You know what? We don't look at it like that. We always try to look at the glass half full. It was seven, but it's seven strong. You know, and seven is a very uh, a, a good number. Uh, not when you're talking about basketball, but it's just a good number to start and build upon. And so the positives in that are that they get a lot of reps with what you're doing. And so their learning curve uh, goes quickly because they're getting those additional reps. So, you know, we're going to build with that seven. They're going to go as hard as they can. Uh, we do get one of our players back, fortunately, uh, who was out uh, the last couple of days. She had a concussion. And so we're looking forward to her return. And then we have a couple of more kids that will come in uh, before season's end. And so we're excited about that. So uh, we're starting with seven, but certainly we won't end with seven. In that exhibition the other night, you also had a chance not only to see your team win, but to face some adversity. In the second half, they were they were down pretty late. So you got to kind of get a gauge about their intestinal fortitude. What, what did you gauge from that? Uh, that we have some fight. And so certainly that's necessary in the game of basketball because the game is a game of runs. And so with that, you've got to be willing to fight through those possessions that you may make the right pass but not hit the shot to work hard enough to get a second opportunity. And so we did have some of those things happen in that particular game that we're assessing when we look back. Uh, a lot of times looking at it in an exhibition game, you look more at the intangibles. How many deflections did we get? How do we look in our transition defense? Are we understanding what we're looking for on offense as opposed to just the bottom line of the number of points scored uh, or the number of points that you gave up? And in year 
one, it's difficult to measure uh, your success based on a number of wins in a, a time when you're rebuilding a program. What are you going to use to try to get a gauge for the measure of success this season? We have small successes every day in practice when they just practice as hard as they can, giving everything that they have and leaving it on the court. And so we are, again, gauging their ability to fight through situations, but to come together as a team to establish uh, a new standard that they would like to see in their particular legacy while playing here at NCCU. And so those things are vital. You know, I think our young women certainly have been competing in the classroom thus far this year, and it has uh, transcended and followed them to the court. And so they're competing in practice. You know, now we have more than seven in practice. So uh, practices are very competitive. And so we utilize that on a daily basis, uh, letting them know that and just reminding them of the things that we have committed to. And one of the things I ask them to do every day is stay committed to the process of a season. Stay committed. And almost in a, in a sense of I've asked them to stay married to the process. And they had to look up the word marriage and all that it holds when you talk about commitment and sacrifice and just doing your best and giving your all. You know, making sure that you support those that are depending on you and making sure that you honor uh, and and honor NCCU with the way you're doing things. Amber, if you could just start off by telling us how, how things are going for you so far. Um, things has been great. Um, yeah, I was out for, I mean, I was out for a while with the concussion and um, it just makes me eager to play and hungry to get back on the court. But other than that, things has been great. Yes, yes, we um, work 110% on and off the court. And, um, <laughs> you know, coming in as Understanding the lack of success last season, was that a concern for you coming into a program? Um, no, not really. It just made me more, makes me more um, motivated and eager to play. What's the new coaching staff like? Oh, um, they work us hard. Um, it was a big transition from high school to college. Like the, we had to work up. I mean, wake up early in the morning, and she just pushes us hard. <laughs> Um, Preseason has went very well. I'm very happy with the team that we have and our new coaching staff and I'm very happy with the way they have been pushing us and just the how they motivate us on and off the court in the classroom and during practice or anything that we do. It's been very motivating and it's helped me a lot this preseason. Now, how about the physicality of the practices? Much different from last year? Last year? Um, it's been very physical and it's very different from last year and she's been her and you know I broke my pinky and it's just way more different than last year but I like it I like it a lot and it's getting us prepared so it helps a lot. One thing I'm curious about is the close game uh, in the exhibition does this team win that game last season? We, I don't feel like we would have won that game last season. We were more intense. We helped each other. We pushed each other throughout the whole entire time, and we stayed positive the whole time. We were down by nine last season. We would have kind of fell down. We wouldn't have tried to fight back. But this year we came back, and we were more motivated than last year. This being your senior year, this has to be a big year for you. What are your expectations for this season? Um, my number one goal is to be all MEAC, and of course I want to win more games. So those are my main two goals right there. And the single biggest thing that's different about Coach Taylor's style, and do you feel like it's a completely different um, team um, that you're running now? Um, I feel like it is a different team. I really believe in what she wants us to do, and I really have a lot of faith in her, and I have a lot of trust in her, and I'm really happy that they picked her to be our coach. And it's different, but I like how it's been different. It's really good for our team and for this program.